Drinking too much salt can make you at risk of developing high blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, you're more likely to get strokes or heart disease. So it's important for us to keep an eye on our salt intake at any age. Adults should consume no more than six grams of salt a day. That's just over a teaspoon. And in fact, children should be having even less. So that six grams isn't just the salt you're adding to your food. In fact, it might surprise you to know that around 75% of the salt you eat comes from manufactured foods. So it's in foods perhaps without you even knowing it. It's important never to add salt to food for babies. With children, watch the amount of salt you're giving them because the sort of foods that they eat in childhood, those habits will stay with them in adult life. So if they've got used to eating salty foods as a child, they're going to demand saltier tastes as they grow older. There's a whole range of foods that are high in salt. For example, some breakfast cereals, bought soups, pasta sauces, soy sauce, mustard, pickles, mayonnaise. And then there are foods that you might not think are salty, like ham and cheese and bacon and bread. So it, takes, it, it makes sense to just keep an eye on how much you're eating of these foods. If, for example, you were to have a couple of slices of toast in the morning, a sandwich at lunch, and maybe one or two slices of bread for the rest of the day, that clocks up around three grams of salt. That's half of the maximum acceptable amount that you should be having in a day. We've become so accustomed to salty foods ever since we were young, you know, and the foods that we might have eaten at school and the foods that you eat at home and the foods that you eat at a takeaway. So your taste buds have become used to salty tastes. So although a food may have a lot of salt in it, you may not recognize it as being very salty. When you add things like soy sauce or chicken seasoning to cooked dishes, there's actually quite a lot of salt in there. So you don't need to add any extra salt. You might see reduced salt on a label. Now that is slightly better. It's 25% less salt than a comparable product, but it's still got salt and you still need to bear it in mind. So here are some tips for helping you to cut down on salt. When you're cooking, try other flavorings like lemon juice, ginger, chili, garlic, herbs and spices. These can add a lot of flavor and help you cut down on the amount of salt you're adding. Don't necessarily add salt before you've tasted your food. Don't assume it's not got enough salt in it. And then compare labels. When you're in the supermarket, take a little bit of time and compare different brands so that you're buying the ones that are lower in salt and cut down on foods that are actually quite high in salt, such as bacon, sausages, cheese and ham.